In this one I'm going to show you how to add transparency to an object or even take it a step further and make something appear or disappear using alpha, the alpha option inside of Flash. So inside of Flash I've just got a, a blank new canvas and there's two ways to do this. So uh, first off I'll show you how to create a window. So I think I'll grab my little snowman, throw him on a layer, and make him looking outside of a window. So I'm going to put that window on a separate layer. So I've got snowman on one layer, create a new layer for my window. No. And so like I said, there's two ways to do this. One way is to uh, draw the object. So if I draw a window here that he's looking out or looking into and um, select that window, you can come up over here to your colors where it says alpha. And if you just click and drag, you can kind of bring that down and click off of it so it's uh, transparent. So that's, that's the first way to um, play with transparency uh, on there. The other way you could do that is if it's already a symbol, because that's that was just a shape, if it's already a symbol, um, so let me just convert that to a symbol. So right mouse click on it and convert to a symbol. Window. Um, <clears throat> you have to select the object down here in your properties so I've selected the object, down here in my properties, I'll see this color, and if I choose that color, I can change the alpha from there too. So click on alpha, which is opacity basically, and you can kind of make that less or more uh, transparent on there. Uh, there's uh, some other options you have in there too. You can also, from that same color option, you could also do tints, where you can uh, change the color of that object, object. Um, and you can do the opacity of that too, um, which that one doesn't work very well. Uh, if you want to do both tint and opacity, you have to get into this advanced feature. So I'll click on that, advanced feature, and click on settings. And then I can play with the alpha there, and I can play with the different colors uh, in here. So that does quite a bit more. Um, with that, that object. So, uh, and then there's a, another object, <clears throat> another option you have. Um, you can also brighten and um, darken. So you can brighten it. That one's brightening and that one's uh, darkening. So that's another option uh, on there. So uh, that can become very useful, especially um, maybe I want to do like a fade to black or something. Um, so if I, uh, maybe I want a big uh, black screen over here. So let me just go in and change this color now um, to a black. And uh, maybe I want a fade, to fade to black or something. So I'm going to actually make this the whole size of my um, background. So let me grab the free transform tool and just scale that to make it nice and big. So I want to start out big like this <clears throat> and at about frame 20 I want it to be I want it to disappear. So if I go ahead and insert a keyframe and on that end keyframe there if I go ahead and mouse click on it, go to alpha and bring the alpha all the way down to zero so here I have it starting at black, here I have it invisible. If I go in between those spots, insert a uh, motion tween, now I will get this to disappear. And I'll add my snowman so you can actually see uh, that in there too. So just kind of as a fade, so it could work as a great transition uh, on there. And you can do things too. Uh, your characters too. If I wanted to, I could make this snowman just disappear. So same thing, insert a keyframe uh, where I want it to start disappearing or yeah, so right here it's going to be paused, nothing's going to happen, and right here I want it to start disappearing. Insert a keyframe where I want to be completely gone and then go ahead and select on the object, go down to color, alpha, Change that to 
starts disappearing there and it is completely disappeared there. Right mouse click in there and insert my motion tween. So now it's sitting there and then it starts to disappear until it's all the way gone. So that's alpha. Uh, you can do quite a bit with that. Great for transitions.